Why does it seem like kids are so bad? Particularly, why does it seem like a lot of Christian kids are so bad? Many of you are all familiar with the passage in Proverbs 22, 6. This passage says, train a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart it. Well, the question is, how come Christian families who do their very best to try to grow these children and instill in them the word of God and to maybe even take them to Christian school, who knows, homeschool, what have you, do their very best to train them. And it seems like there's one, maybe two, a lot of these kids, they've been taught the right thing. They've been shown the right way. And then when they get older, and in some cases old, they seem to depart. Why is that? Is it though the word of God has failed when he says, if you train them this way, then when they're old, they won't depart. But we still see kids departing when they get older. As a matter of fact, isn't it interesting when we see that Israel, who are the children of Israel, who we would say that are being trained by God, who have godly leaders there at many points throughout Israel's existence, especially coming out of Egypt. They've got men who know the word, who are hearing from God, who are training them, who are teaching them. Not only do the adults go astray, but the children do as well. How could that be? Well, here's how that could be, because it does not say how it reads in the English. Let's go back to the passion. I'll show you my point. It says, train a child in the way that he should go. We want to focus on this word here, the way. Let's go over here to the, to the right side on the Hebrew, and let's focus on this word, the way that he should go. And we'll see that it's not quite how it says in English. We see this Hebrew word here, al, which is on, over, upon. Then we have this word, p, which is mouth, in darko, which is his way. And so if we put it together, it says upon the mouth of his way. That doesn't make any sense. Why? Because it's a Hebrew idiom. A Hebrew idiom is a figure of speech, a way of saying things, but it has a meaning. Well, let's go back to it and see if we can understand the meaning. And we can even see why it may have been originally written in the way that he should go. Al Piderko is upon the mouth of his way. Well, that is according to the way that the kid wants to go. So what's being stated is it's not so much a command to train him that way. What it really is, is you're training him this way, the way that he should go according to the bent of his way. We all have this natural bent. And so if you train this child the way that he wants to go, then when he's old, he'll keep going the way he wants to go. We've seen children. Let's be honest. We've seen little children angel faced children who, if you give them the opportunity, they will do some dastardly things. If you tell a child, don't eat the cookies before dinner, you leave the room, come back, and the cookies are, the bags busted wide open, crumbs all over the place, all over their face. You ask the child, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, five-year, doesn't matter, ask them, did you eat the cookies? What is that child with those darling little angel faces going to do and say, they're going to tell you, no, we did not eat the cookies. They're going to tell you, no, I did not eat the cookies. Hey, Jack, did did you eat a cupcake? No. You didn't eat a cupcake? No, I wasn't at home. You sure you didn't eat a cupcake? No. Hmm. I thought you maybe had a cupcake. No. No? No. Definitely not? No. Not like in the last couple minutes? No. No cupcake for Jack? No. Oh, okay. Why? because that's just the way children are. Matter of fact, that's just the way human beings are. Isaiah puts it this way. He says in 53 verse six, he says, all of us are like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned his own way. And I want you to look at the word for way in the Hebrew. It is the same word that we see in Proverbs 22, six. It is the word derko, his way. And if we allow kids to go to his natural bent naturally the way he or she wants to go, then at five years old, he is messy, he's selfish, he's angry, he's whatever. In 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, 50 years, he won't move away from that. He'll continue to go in that way. As a matter of fact, more to the point, he will be better at it. He'll be better at sinning. And so if you allow him to grow up in that way, when he's old, 
he will not depart. Now that makes sense. Now we see that goes perfectly with how we've experienced people in society. Those who've been trained or allowed to go their own way, they don't depart from that. It takes a special move for God. As a matter of fact, even those who have been trained properly, who weren't trained in the way that we wanted to go, it still takes God's uh, special move, his spirit upon us to keep us in line. And so just to kind of give clarifications, first of all, when someone says that there are no bad kids, all children are bad because all human beings are bad. There's none good, no, not one. And so it's a good understanding for parents, especially if you're parents of small children or grandchildren, to help you to see how this should be applied. And if we apply it correctly, if we don't allow them to do what they want to do, well, then it will work out according to the way that God wants to do, according to God's way. Amen.